Can you dodge bird strikes? And hello, Lester. You're watching FullFlap.tv. A couple of quick stories tonight because we need to get on with our feature. Chances are, if you're a commercial pilot, you've already decided which is best, Boeing or Airbus. If you're in the Boeing camp, then you might have been getting a little worried after the 787 Dreamliner's development came to halt for design changes. We all began to wonder if there was a hidden reason. Well, there doesn't appear to be, as the firm say production is now back underway, and they hope to have something for us to look at by the second quarter of the year. They have 30 orders so far. One thing we did spot was the name of the engines that you can choose to get with your new 787. In the past, they've been rather boring, like ZA005. But how would you like the General Electric Gen X? Perhaps it's like turning your 787 into a sport coupe, or coupe, or cool, if that's how you say it. Um, Honda have put their proverbial two fingers up to the economic doom mongers by going ahead with advertising for technical jobs to make their new jet. But instead of just putting a few mentions on their website, they're putting full page ads in local papers. NetJets pride themselves on being based everywhere. In fact, if you get a job with the firm, as long as you're within a couple of hours of one of their airports, you can choose to live anywhere in the world. But are things going to change? The firm has acquired a new base at a lovely little airfield just south of Frankfurt. They hope to make Eaglesback their new home, allowing them to put their aircraft to bed properly at night and not have to fight for space. The airport will get a complete makeover too, with an ILS, and the runway will be extended by several hundred metres to allow for aircraft up to a Hawker 800. I must get this in. A big hello to Leicester Aero Club. The guys and girls at the airfield have embedded FullFlap.tv on their website and we're really glad to be involved with them. For starters, they have a great airfield with three tarmac runways, which obviously means you don't have to worry about crosswinds as much. It's open at night, so yes, you can go up and get your own sunset shot out of an aircraft. They even do a New Year airborne event. Theoretically, according to the textbooks, that means you can also see the sun come up sooner than the people on the ground below you. They also know how to make the club friendly and if we're honest, there are still too many places around the world where you don't feel welcome when you arrive at an airfield. This is not one of them, so if you haven't already joined us in the air, go and have a chat with them and tell them we sent you. By the way, if you want to get a big mention on fullflap.tv, and it can be anywhere in the world because we are watched around the world, then just click on the embed button on the website. Finally, the moment anything happens in the world, someone comes up with a computer game to reflect it. Now it's flight 1549's landing in the Hudson. We're probably meant to be shocked and disgusted at this point, but you know what? Nearly 200,000 people have played it, including us. In fact, now we know everyone got off okay, despite what the lawyers say, there's nothing wrong with having a little fun. And you know what? It's amazing how bird strikes can bring the fullflap.tv virtual office to a standstill. We weren't sure if we should show you the link to the game, so we won't. You're watching FullFlap.tv and I'm Vicky Farah.